This is the book of Psalms, chapter 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, our power. All right, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father in the Holy Tongue. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the High Priest and Savior of the nation of Israel. And Rahakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the Comforter. Double honest the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for leading by example in these last days and shalom to the hopeful elect. All you Aki and making your bodies a living sacrifice. So I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. Just want to give brothers a quick update on what's going on with, with the channel, with the camp. Uh, crazy prophecies are popping off, as you can see. Um, about three weeks ago, I got my second strike on the channel and I couldn't post for two weeks. And then as soon as my channel got lifted, you know, the hurricane came through, Hurricane Ida and just you know all pandemonium has been going on brothers have been scattered the entire new orleans camp where no one is in new orleans right now it's completely without power but some brothers are in uh in florida some brothers in uh atlanta all over man mississippi and you know we've just been getting it in and it's been a, a beautiful time for prophecy man and i just want to go through some scriptures to show you uh that we're clearly at the end and all you akim that have been hospitable to brothers that's going to come back to you tenfold because everything we're experiencing right now the whole Babylon the Great is about to go through. And right now, uh, I have a backup channel, GMS uh, Pillar in the Temple 144K, and there's nothing on it right now, but through the Spirit, this channel is about to be deleted real soon. So if you wanna be uh, continually edified, you can go subscribe to that. Also, I have a BitChute channel, uh, GMS Pillar in the Temple on BitChute. All of my videos that have been deleted from YouTube, I'm, I'm uploading them over there. Um, Abaratazar. Uh, I can keep going with, with that channel. Also, I have another one coming up soon if I can, you know, get some time to, you know, really work on things. But I want to hit some scriptures and show you that this is, uh, this is the time we're in. Actually, let me read this again. This is Psalms 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, our power. Because we're in a time where a lot of people trust in Egypt, as it tells you in Isaiah the 30 chapter, the 31st chapter. A lot of our people trust in Babylon the Great. They trust in uncertain riches. And you can see that could be taken from you at any moment. Your trust is in your job. Your trust is in government benefits. Your trust is in electricity. All right, the Lord can show you he could take that away quickly. But your faith, that's, that's going to remain. That has to endure until the end. That's how we're going to be saved, through faith by our works, all right, being brotherly, all right, charity covers a multitude of sins. And right now, man, we, we're in a time where the body of Yahweh Shai, the brothers in Great Mill, Millstone specifically, brothers have been showing so much charity and you can see that it's gonna pay off in dividends, man, because again, what's going on in New Orleans right now is about to hit the rest of Babylon the Great. We're going through a trial run, which Katrina was another trial run. The elites, they plan all these things. All of these, these storms, if you notice, they all fall on the same day. There's a lot of demonic energy going on. And, you know, we're, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. We're rehearsing being, uh, I was just talking to the brother, we have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. We did a lesson uh, a couple of days ago called spiritual adjustments. You have to be able to adjust in the spirit. You, you might have a certain routine that you go through and that routine is gonna be taken from you. You have to trust in the spirit. You have to trust in the name, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All your works, all your service that you've been doing, the ministry, you have to believe that that's going to pay off when all hell breaks loose because all of these other things, these uncertain riches, they're not going to pay off. The dollar is going to collapse. This economy is finished. These cities are finished. The people's minds are completely destroyed. There's no brotherhood. There's no unity. Outside of this ministry, outside of the body of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you can't trust any of these people. Look what they're doing. Things aren't even that bad. People are killing each other over gasoline. You know, I just want to give a quick testimony. Uh, what was it? Yesterday, yeah. Yesterday, I was riding around, I was picking up things for my fam, and I was all over Louisiana. There, there's a, a serious gasoline shortage in the state of Louisiana, southeast Louisiana specifically. There's like four out of five gas stations don't have any gas. So you might drive around for miles looking for gas, you get to a gas station and it's empty. Then you gotta drive back a few other miles, and there's like a long, there's like an hour and a half long wait for gasoline. So I'm riding around trying to fill my tank up, and I'm on E. I'm on, the, the needle is on E and I'm riding on the I-10. Then out of nowhere, my tire explodes. I'm on the I-10 and my tire just, just boom. And I have to pull over. And long story short, I now have a, a flat tire and my tank is on E. So all I could do is pray to the Lord. And it just so happened that, you know, I had a spare, you know, the tire got fixed, but I'm still on E, I'm riding around. And a brother, the elder of the camp, he had mentioned in the WhatsApp 
where to get some gas. And I'm thinking like, if I wasn't part of the body, if I wasn't plugged in, that I, I would have been through, man. I'm on the interstate in the middle of nowhere on the shoulder. The tank is on E. And now at this point, when the uh, when my tire gets fixed, the needle is, is below the E. It's like, it's beneath the E. So if I didn't have that information, I'd have been finished, man. But I was tuned into the body. And brothers, you know, brothers give each other all sorts of advice. Brothers have places to go. Our families are, are taken care of. We're not wanted for anything. All hell is broken loose. People are killing each other all over Louisiana. People are killing each other for oil, for bread. And the body's safe, man. Every brother in the camp, we're straight. We're secure. We have everything we need. Why? Because the Lord provided that for us. Let me get this in, uh, in Sirach. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2. And we'll start at verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Right, you have to be patient when you're changed to a low estate. Right now, we're in the lowest that we've ever been. And we're, the scriptures call us worms. The scriptures refer to us as, as grasshoppers. We're meek, we're lowly, and we've been changed to a lowest state. And right now, it's even more so with everything being cut off, the electricity being cut off. Brothers, you know, got to get food, how they get it. Everything you've stored up spiritually, not just physically storing up canned goods, but spiritually storing up treasures in heaven. These things are going to pay off and you have to be patient. That's why it says this. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Right. You have to take these things cheerfully. You know, I was in Mississippi. You had the brothers from Mississippi, the brothers from New Orleans, brothers from Alaska came down. Shalom to those brothers. Man, brothers were going through all sorts of. Uh, strange calamities brothers lost their jobs brothers had physical ailments but we were still in good spirits everything that was happening we took cheerfully there's no brothers aren't walking around like oh man the storm man new orleans man new orleans is gone man we're we're like yeah call you how about shim how shy we're praising the lord for bringing the plagues upon egypt just like he said he would we're we're in a spirit of wanting to get out of here we're not in the spirit of wanting america to go back to normal we're not in the spirit of wanting you know mardi gras season essence fest jazz fest all of these demonic you know, just uh, pagan rituals. We don't long for those things. We long for the kingdom of heaven, the 12 tribes of Israel, all you people of so-called Negro and native Indian descent ruling on thrones, ruling in righteousness, man. Our children being safe, all right? Having dominion over the heathen, having control over the natural resources of the earth. These are the things we long for. We don't long for, for this kingdom to continue a second longer than it has to. And so when these things come upon you, you have to take them cheerfully because you know every single day that we wake up is one day closer to the kingdom of heaven. Every single plague that we have to endure is a plague that we've been prophesying for years and we're witnessing it transpire. So what does that mean? That means, number one, the word of the Lord is true. And number two, we've been publishing that word. The men that have been publishing the word were right the whole time through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So whatever strange calamities come upon us, we take it cheerfully. It says this, verse five, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Right, the heavenly father right now is making up his jewels. Let, let me get that. Brothers already know, I got to get that scripture in Malachi. This is Malachi chapter 4. It's like in chapter 3 and verse 17. And they shall be mine, saith Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. So right now the Lord is making up his jewels and that, that re requires a, a, a refinement process. You have to try gold. When you try gold, remember, you don't make gold, you try gold. The gold is already the gold. The elect is already the elect, but we have to be purified. Trying gold is a, a rough process which requires fire. You put, you put fire to the gold and it does what? It removes all the impurities. It cleanses the gold. And that's what the Heavenly Father is doing right now. He's making up his jewels. So everything that you're going through, that's the Lord removing a weakness from you, removing stumbling blocks from you, removing parts of your spirit that is still attached to this world. He's like, look, I don't want you attached to any any part of this, even electricity. I don't want you dependent on, on electricity to get by. What if, I mean, this is, a, again, this is a small inkling of what's going to happen to Babylon the Great. There, the whole grid's going to be cut off. There's going to be false flags, power grids, a nuke, many nukes, all sorts of just explosions, death, everything we've been prophesying, you can see it's about to happen. So what manner of person ought you to be? We're being tried right now. You have to thank the Lord to try you. You can't complain, oh, what was me? I I'm going through something that nobody else is going through. The scripture says, let me get this in Peter. Because at the end of the day, we're being purified and we have to thank the Lord for that because 
the majority of these people are not being purified at all. They're still unclean. And you can see, you can see them panicking. You can see that uh, wisdom and knowledge is not the stability of their times at all. So this is 1 Peter chapter, let me see where I want to start. Yeah, this is chapter 4, verse 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Right, now we just read in Sirach, the second chapter, that we're being tried as gold in the furnace. And it's, it's telling you here to not think it strange when these trials come upon you. Because, oh, oh, verse 13, but rejoice, but rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. And that's the time we're coming in, man. We're gonna be exalted we're going to be excited with exceeding joy because Yahweh Shah is coming back. He's not going to meet this world as a man. He's not going to come back begging the United Nations for a seat at the table. The scripture tells you in Revelation he's coming back with many crowns. And what, what has to happen before that? This kingdom has to be utterly destroyed. So you knowing that your, your faith should be on 144,000, man. Your faith should be uh, just boasting, boasting every single day. You should get more and more bold in the spirit. Like, yeah, this is what we've been talking about. This is what we've been warning the two thirds about. This is what we've been warning these wicked niggas, these other Israelite camps that are all about folly and mixtapes and having a good time. We're not in the house of mirth. We're in the house of mourning. And you can see the heavenly father's about to do away with this place. So I just want to give that quick testimonial, hit a couple of scriptures. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana right now. Um, the internet's not great, but it's at a point where I can start re-uploading videos. I have a lot of uh, a lot of videos on a hard drive. I'm gonna upload for you brothers. And um, you know, also if you want to stay edified, subscribe to all the brothers, man. This whole time my channel's been down, but I've been on other channels: Great Millstone, Louisiana Saints Two, Great Millstone, Louisiana Saints Three, GMS Alaska, uh, GMS Fruit of Faith, GMS Dark Parables. All the different brothers, man. Uh, Great Millstone, uh, Breath of Breath of Life, Bah. Brothers' channel got deleted, but it's back up. So. You know, we, we're just moving, man. At the end of the day, we were called into this marvelous light to preach this word, to bring out the scriptures and, and to warn our people. And very soon, the Lord is going to take away his word. There's going to be a famine. So if you haven't got it by then, you're going to be destroyed. And all you Jakes that have been on the sidelines, twiddling your thumbs, wondering if this is the truth. You're watching this camp. You're watching that camp. You're, you're scoffing in the back of your mind. Scripture tells you in Romans that if you doubt while you eat, you're damned. And you're, you're about to see that right now. You're going to see a lot of Jakes bug out who know that they're Israelites, who knew who the prophets were, and they're, they're not going to have any stability. Let me let me end with Isaiah 33 and 6. It's an oldie but goodie. It just, it just gets better every time you read it, because this is the time we're in. We're, we're watching this physically manifest right before our eyes. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is his treasure. Right, our wisdom and knowledge is keeping us stable, man. It tells you in, uh, in Psalms that we know the end of a thing. We, we know the end of Babylon the Great. So we're not put off by these things. We're not troubled. We're not trembling. It tells you when you read on down, it says, uh, verse 14, The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness have surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Question mark. Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? Question mark. And this is the mind state of someone that's not in the truth. They're like, well, what are we going to do? How are we going to survive? What, there's no jobs. What, what are we? How are we going to get by? What, these people are bugging out, man. Again, all over Louisiana, people are killing themselves and killing each other over oil and bread. And it's, it's spiritual because in the scriptures, the oil represents the wisdom and understanding of the scriptures and the bread represents the word. So they're killing each other over physical oil and bread. And we're those those wise virgins. We didn't waste our oil. So it, all you have to do is rejoice, man. Hold on until the end. Endure as a strong soldier of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. So Abaratazah, this lesson was edifying and stay tuned. I have a lot of lessons to upload that you know past few weeks. Uh, but Abaratazah, you brothers stay fed. And I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rahakwadash, double honest the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect.